one and all to the KOE Nation for a very special spirits review. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partner. Tony, G, like, share, subscribe. Back again for another good one, folks. This one is interesting. Loop River, Spring Creek. I'm actually just going to come around. Let me know when it gets all nice and clear for the oh, folks. Oh, yeah, home. perfect. Loop River Spring Creek Whiskey. This is a product of Nebraska. So, you know, being Nebraska natives. Locally we, fresh, folks. Yes, this is from Nebraska-made corn. Water from the Ogallala Aquifer. I don't know if you get any more Nebraska than that. No, not really, no. So, Loop River, I have tried their uh, Howard Hooch. If you go over to the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast, uh, we did a toast to Andrew Jackson on his birthday because unaged corn whiskey was a normal thing during his, during his time. But this is Nebraska aged whiskey. So this was aged in oak barrels and made, I'm guessing, primarily from Nebraska corn, 80 yeah. proof. Now, where Loop River Distillery, they also have a bourbon, which that review is coming soon. And we've got some plans for that bourbon. It's going to be thrown in the deep end of the pool. But <laughs> we'll see what happens there. This is a unique Nebraska product, and I've been looking forward to trying this. Loop River Distillery out of St. Paul, Nebraska. Well, let's see what the nose gives us. Bit of an ethanol, as expected. Yeah. You smell corn. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. There's corn there. Um, yeah, the nose isn't going to be one of those noses that you write home about. It's very slight direct. Slight caramel. This is a fairly new distillery, as far as I know. I almost, um, from everything I've seen, it's, it must be a very new place because everything in the, the facility is just as clean as you can imagine. So I almost get a coffee grind. I'm getting a slight caramel, okay. just very slight. Probably about the same thing, though. Let's see what it happens on the palate. Indeed. Nebraska's own. Hmm. Very smooth. Oh, very smooth. Sweetness on the tail. I am end. getting this slight coffee now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a bit of, I don't know if it's a mocha or a latte type flavoring in there. Like a caramel coffee. Yeah, yeah. Like, like something you get at Starbucks. I was just about to mm. say that, so. Hmm. Mm. That Dare sweet I, corn whiskey on the front end and then just a, a different kind of sweetness on the back. Dare I say, excellent for an Irish coffee. Oh, you know. Yeah, I mean, that, that was first thing that came to mind. Yeah, that would Irish work Irish coffee. This would be an excellent... Now... That would work. The other thing that the Loop River Distillery really shines at is as a gift for a very specific group of people. If you have somebody that doesn't live in the state of Nebraska anymore, that used to live here, and they're coming back for whatever reason, this is one of the perfect gifts. Like, it's made from Nebraska Ogallala Aquifer water. It's made with Nebraska corn, distilled in Nebraska. I don't know what else you can really ask for. It says distilled from corn, so it looks like this is 100% corn whiskey aged in oak barrels. Okay. Now, on yeah, the back you get, here, I'd say you get that oakiness on the back end. On the back here, it says corn. Here in Howard County, Nebraska, we pour our hearts into our grain and our grain into a glass. The very spirit of our farm and family, Spring Creek Whiskey, is the heart and soul that runs through everything we do at Loop River Distilling. Barreled and aged to perfection, Spring, Spring Creek Whiskey uses only the highest quality corn grown on our land. Enjoy on its own or in a cocktail of your choice. Okay. So, and this is batch number 2W20, bottle 93. And so this is a, a fairly new undertaking here in the state of Nebraska. Young. But they've been around long enough to at least have a bourbon. Yes. So it's been aged. Um, most bourbon, 
I don't think there's an actual legal requirement, but in order for it to be like a straight bourbon, it has to be at least, um, I think it's 24 months. Yep. So they've been around long enough to at least get a couple of bourbons out and they're starting to get pretty good distribution around Nebraska. So if you're anywhere in Nebraska, really, that's got relatively good distribution, pretty much anything accepted of a big box store, you can probably find a Loop River distilling product there. Yep. And this bottle was $27 and it's, yeah, it, we've had a lot worse from a lot bigger distilleries. Oh, yeah. uh, Definitely. I've been way more disappointed by way more expensive bottles in my time. So how are we rating this? Okay. We're going to rate this as a whiskey, as a cast aged spirit. And it's shelving. Okay. And then a secret question. Okay. So, as a whiskey, how do you rate this on a five star scale? Um, I'm gonna actually give this uh, three and a half because I like it neat. I've tried it on the rocks and it works real nice cold on the rocks. Works really nice. So I really like that. And I think this would be an excellent mixer for. You know, basically any kind of soda of any flavor, mm -hmm. uh, just as a base mix. I think this would excel there as well. This so does, I, I think it's good. Three and a half. This does not offend the palate. No, like no. This would be a great base for a, a cocktail. There's a slight coffee, a slight caramel. It lingers, but it doesn't overpower. Yeah. And like I said, Irish coffee. Yeah, I plus. think you're right. It, it would work in that. I'm going to give this a three and a half as a whiskey just because it does actually hit pretty much everything you need a whiskey yeah. to hit and it's from our home state and the let's be frank, right. the water that's the backbone of the whiskey is a little familiar to us so what can i say <laughs> it's uh it's quite the uh quite the achievement for nebraska distillery as a cask aged spirit. So now you're judging the cask aging because you've had mm -hmm. the unaged corn whiskey yep. before. And now you're judging it as a whiskey. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 2.75 because I think this is young and I think it's only gonna get better from here. I think if you did this longer, this could really, be something pretty special those coffee notes are going to turn into yep. rich toffee yep and i think uh the caramel is going to eventually turn into something fruity there you so, go i think it's got a lot of potential spring creek if you start release releasing age statement whiskeys i think you got at least a couple of customers there you here. go as a cask age i'm gonna give it three um yep. because this is a unique undertaking out in the middle like a lot of the other distilleries in Nebraska are in Omaha, yep. basically, because, yep. you know, you've got this big city that can provide, you know, what's needed for any kind of major. Yeah, this is closer to the know, undertaking. This is, yeah, closer to the middle of the state, out in, you know, the rural areas of Nebraska. And so that's why I'm just very, very interested in the Loop River Distillery, and I hope them much greater success in the future. But I'm going to give it three because... Yes, there's, it's simple, but it's such a good base to start on that you could see this really going somewhere in the future. Perfect. Now, we move on to shelving. <sighs> I think, I, it, it's not a well whiskey, but you could use it as such. And I, I'm going to go bottom, but an older age statement would easily move up. Simple as that. <sighs> You know, I'm hesitant to put it on the I bottom. I am too. I am too. I don't think it deserves the bottom. But, again, it's young. I think because of where we live, it's such a conversation piece yeah. that this will make it to my middle shelf. There you go. That's fair. And they're actually, and I'm saying this with no hyperbole, I mean, I tr I'm always enthusiastic about Nebraska products, but there is room here over time to make a top shelf offering. Yeah. And we may very well see when it comes oh, to yeah. the bourbon offering. We haven't gotten to the uh, peak of their offerings yet. So keep your eyes on this space 
for our bourbon review. And like I said, I've got some pretty deep plans for that particular bourbon. We're gonna throw it out into the deep end of the pool and see how it swims Fair with enough. heavy hitters. So we move on to the final question, Tony. Uh, we've done shelving. Mm -hmm. When this bottle is empty, this is your bottle, will you seek another one? This would, this contends like with the Redneck Riviera. Mm -hmm. I think uh, in, Great value. In, in terms of flavoring and usage, it kind of contends with like a TX, similar wise. So, you know, it just it could get there. depends it's what, got, needs some time yeah, it, could it depends what's on my shelf, but this is a great base. Uh, if I saw this on sale, I'd jump all over it for sure. Like if they wanted to get to like TX levels, they'd have to get some really old stuff and blend yep. it with their young stuff. Yep. And then they'd have something there. There you go. But food for thought. Yes. Me personally, I'm going to reserve judgment until I try their bourbon. Fair and enough. then I will see what their offering is that I am going to keep stock between the two. Fair enough. Then they also got a pocket, but we'll get there another time. So folks, as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, this has been our review of an excellent Loop River Distillery Spring Creek Whiskey offering. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme, Phil KOE, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner, Tony G. Thanks for coming.